on it is. Goal off the. A 2-1 win to Norwich, a 1-1 draw against Burnley, and if we win today, we're top of the league. No, this isn't a Dream City fans. Yes, today could be massive. Hull City take on West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns, two teams that were once in the Premier League and are still looking to get promoted this season. Hull City currently unbeaten in the Championship, but also last week they lost their main striker Ali Asaid Minesh to up to 6-8 to eight weeks. Well, the Baggies currently sit 21st in the Championship. They haven't won a single game this season with two draws and two losses. Today could be a real chance for both teams to push up the table and carry on what's been a very exciting championship season so far. As always, here's all the information and news you need to know about today's game. Today, we will begin with the host, West Bromwich Albion. The Baggies currently are having the worst start of their season for years as they currently sit in the relegation area. They have started this season with three draws and one loss, but have had probably the hardest run of games with all four teams pushing for Premier League. Today will be a fresh chance for them to get points on the table and for Steve Bruce, who spent four years at Hull City before his departure. Now, onto the history between the two sides. Both teams have played each other on 61 occasions, with the Baggies winning 26 times, the Tigers winning 19 times, and respectively, 16 games that ended in a draw. The last competitive game they played each other ended in a 2-0 win to West Brom, where two goals by Ahern Grant made sure that the host won the game. Today, I'll be making over 280 mile round trip to Birmingham and over five hours on the coach. This takes our season total up to 590 miles. Right, I think that's enough from me at my home. I'll see you when we get down to Birmingham at the Hawthorns Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're here at the famous Hawthorns. It's not really famous, but it's a lovely ground. Very clean, probably the nicest concourse I've been in as an away fan. It's, uh, it's about an hour and a half before kick-off the lineups aren't announced yet, I will get to you when they are. It's about a 25,000 seater is West Brom. They got about 20,000 midweek and they're hoping to pack it out today. All are bringing about a thousand, we sold about a thousand seats and it's quite a small away end, I must say. But uh, I'll get to you when the lineup's out. It's officially two o'clock, which means one thing, the lineups are out. It's an unchanged 11, apart from one player, Ali Arsai we know has a six to eight week injury. So coming in to replace him is Randall Williams. Again, I'll read you the lineup if you haven't watched the last vlog. In goal, Matt Ingram, the captain today, playing right wing back Louis Coyle. The three centre backs are Tobias Figueredo, Jacob Greaves, and Alfie Jones. Left wing back is Callum Elder. The three centre mids are Slater, Tufan, and I presume that Randall Williams is playing camp. And then the two striker, the Colombian man who I got a flag from today. Oscar Estupinian and again Benjamin Tete. Come on, you all. More information on the team. The new sign-in, Ryan Woods, who we saw last week in his car, is officially on the bench. There's no Malik Wilkes about. This week we're joined again. Hello. He's back. Last time he said 2-0 to Norwich. I'm yeah, thinking 2-0 Norwich. Yeah. Right. Same question again. What is the score? Well, I can't predict us to lose because I'll look like an idiot again. Come off the back of a good point at Burnley, and I'm going to say the same scoreline. I'm going to go 1-1. And Grady Diangana is going to open the scoring. And then a Tete header, 82nd minute equaliser. Ah, oh, big class that. Right, I'll see you when the players are coming onto the beach. I think I missed that, the ball was too high. Four minutes in and those are two fans. That's a lovely shot on target. Oh, it's me, my good pick up. Oh, my lads, here we go. About five minutes in, and uh, it's a late scare for all City. Yeah. Randall Williams on the counter attack now. Five minutes, and it's been quite an open game. It's a corner for West Brom, Jed Wallace to take it. Out! Well out by Randall Williams. Well played, mate. Well, Jacob Greaves, about 12 minutes in now, and it's been mostly West Brom. A few good counter attacks and a few good challenges by City, but it's been mainly West Brom. It's looking dangerous today. We've had about four corners, 
a few shots on target with a better team today. It's not looking good. It's a beautiful shot by, I think it was Callum Elder. A great save though. By we lost side Manish last week. We can't lose Ozan. The medical staff are going in. Oh dear. Probably our best player this season and he's gone down. He's going to have to come on. 20 minutes in it's been quite an even game. The last 10 minutes have been all City. Awful news. We don't know how bad it is yet, but he's on the floor for a few minutes. Probably our best player this season. He's come on off the pitch, what with 20 minutes played. For the new signing, Ryan Woods has come on the pitch, number 15. 25 minutes in, and City's got a corner. It's a new man, Ryan Woods, to take it. Comes in. Ryan Woods to take it. Ooh. Been mainly West Brom now. They've had so many counter attacks, it's sort of gone quiet now in the stadium. It's that bit of a bit of a match where no one really speaks. But New Davidson, Ryan Woods has done all right. Oh, oh my finger was in the way. Oscar scooping on 35 minutes in, takes the touch, hits the bar. I don't believe it. Oh, it's 1 0 to West Brom. It's a lovely header, I must admit. I was going to let the phone out and record. But I thought, you know what? I don't think they'll score. They've had about 10 corners and nothing's happened. But I was wrong. And they've scored. Get out! Oh, again, it's a corner. It's, I don't know how to explain it. They just get the corner in. None of our defenders really, they just look at the ball. 42 minutes in now. And it's been mainly West Brom after the goal. Three or four attacks, another three or four corners. They're the better team at the moment. I just don't know how we can get it back into the game. Maybe a half time substitution, but without Oza, it's not doing well. Time, it's 1 0. I'm going to make this quick because I've just gone and got a pie. I think that's the most exciting thing that's happened this half is a pie in a Pepsi Max. I must say the pie looks lovely. On the other hand, Hull City. It's not been the best of starts for Hull City. 1 0 and. I must say, I don't think we should have brought Ryan Woods on straight away. Hopefully, we can get an equaliser and maybe get an opportunity to get another one after that. But at the moment, it looks like it's going to be a 1-0 and pan out as a 1-0. See you in the second half. And the players are out. And it's West Brom to take kick-off. No substitution so far, I believe. And there we have it. Kick-off. Straight to the goalkeeper. Absolutely shocking. 2-0. John Swift scored, it was a lovely goal, but absolutely shocking. To be fair, fair play to the West Brom fans, I'll turn the camera around in a minute. They're jumping up and down, they're 2-0 up and they're giving it all they've got. I think possibly the uh, comeback is off. Once we lost those and it went downhill from there, but there's not a lot we can do. Just have to sit here and hope. I don't even know what to say. Oh. It could have been three, it could have been four, it could have been five then. And it is. I don't believe it. It's three nil to West Brom. 60th minute in. I don't really know what you want me to say. We're getting battered. They could have even scored here. It's a corner for West Brom. 60th minute in, 3 0. Fair play to West Brom. The fans have been alright after they started uh, scoring a few. I think we've gone quiet now. I think it's the end for us today. This makes a change. All City's on the counter attack. Oh! Oh! The fans just being kicked out of the stadium. It shows what it's like. The fans are happy. You can hear a pin drop in the away end. The police are gone after that guy. I don't know what's happened. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. And it's a penalty. West Brom have got a penalty to make it for. And it's number 11 who's run laps around Louis Coyle today to take it. Conceded three, but he's still a great keeper. Can it be 4 0? I mean, this, the away end's near enough. Empty. Can it be 4? 
there we go. Absolutely shocking. <laughs> 75 minutes in, near enough. There's not much to add to what you've seen. Just being shocking. Probably the worst game of the season. Well, it is the worst game of the season. Even losing to League 2, Bradford was not as bad as this. I'm going to say they're going to score another one. It's a substitution for West Brom. It's 4-1. Oscar Estubinian. I think the West Brom fans clapped us. I think they were celebrating with us. We've got a goal, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's the 80th minute and the goal really doesn't change much. It's probably been the worst performance I've seen for a while since Bristol. Bradford was awful, but it's nothing, nothing like this. Well, Bone Crowell hasn't come on yet, but I'll tell you what has happened. I think you can tell by the noise, it's 5-1. Oh. They're singing the ball oh. by the Tiger chants. Go on, Oscar! Oh dear. 6-5. We're going to win 6-5. Well, it's the 90th minute and there's two minutes extra time. We're going to score another four. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, full time. And it's 5-2 to West Brom. I'll do a, uh, I'll do a report later when I get home. <sighs> three hours later, three gruelling hours later, we've arrived home. 5-2 to West Brom who were winless when we played them, and we were unbeaten. I mean, as a City fan, and I mean, I've spoke to a lot of City fans before and a few days before the game, everyone was optimistic. I mean, you even saw Lucas, he said 1-1. I thought that was a decent result. I thought we could have gone more, 2-3-1. I know the uh, the bookies had it as 3-1 to World City. So what happened? I had the game off quite well, I must say. It was just like every other City game. I mean, West Brom were doing quite well, but we knew we wouldn't be on the front of possession. But then in the 20 minutes, Ozan Tufan goes down, and that's where it all started to uh, turn to the worst. Me and my mate were nearly in tears. We've lost Ali Arsai Manesh. Now it's Ozan, and it looked like the same sort of injury. On the pitch for Ozan was the new debutant and the new signing we made about two days ago, Ryan Woods from Birmingham. A lot I can really say about his debut. He strung up quite a few good passes. He looks a decent player. I mean, I think he's been brought in to be a bench warmer, sort of a replacement if Seri or Rosan. In that case, he probably will be starting because Rosan's injured. We'll start with the uh, obvious man of the match. If you watch the highlight, if you watch the game, if you were there, even if you've read about the game, I think you know who's the man of the match. Oscar Stupinian, well played, my friend. Absolutely amazing today. Two goals, he got two against Norwich, and now two against West Brom. I think he could be a deadly striker. Today wasn't our day. I mean, every City fan knew that the unbeaten streak wouldn't last all season. We knew it'd come soon, but we didn't think it'd be 5-2. We thought maybe a 1-0 loss to someone on the way. We didn't think it'd be today. But that's just how football is. I mean, you can never predict a result, no matter what. I mean, if it's Man City against Bournemouth, then probably can predict it. I could go on for an hour, you know, talking about how the players could have done this, could have done that, could have scored another one, didn't have to hit the crossbar, just things like that, but I'm not. We're all City, these things happen, and at the end of the day, we're going to bounce back. And that's when we move on to our next video, commentary at home. We haven't had a home one for a while, I think this will be the second home game that you've seen on the channel. Hopefully you enjoy the home games as well as the away games. Sometimes the away games can be a bit dodgy if someone's in the background making signs, whereas at home it's a bit better. You know, I can be sat next to a mate. Sorry, yeah, uh, I've kept this sort of ending a bit too short. I could go on, but I think you're here to watch a bit of the highlights and not me sat here at the end. But if you are here at the end, thank you for watching. It really does appreciate if you do like and subscribe. I'm not forcing you by no means. I know a lot of people don't want to have my face on your suggested, but... If you do and you want to see more of the whole City uh, match day vlogs and a bit of my editing, then subscribe, like and turn on notifications and, uh, you know, I'll pop up on your phone as well. How lovely is that? All right. Well, 
again, I'll see you for Coventry at home. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you in seven days time. Up the Tigers!